it was a bold stand today, placing big, bright red X's right on the doors of shops accused of selling K2. The problem on this corner is so bad, often first responders are standing by just waiting for the next OD. No K2. No K2. Showdown in East Harlem, Lexington Avenue and 125th Street. Today, activists from the National Action Network confronted several local delis. People from the neighborhood say these stores are still selling K2 right over the counter. You have all these stores here that sell this, this product around here. The protest ended when they sat down in front of this deli. They wanted to send a message, standing their ground until they were arrested. For the last two weeks, the battle against K2 was largely fought in Brooklyn. But in 2015, when K2 first became a public emergency here in the city, this intersection in Harlem was the epicenter. There was undercover video. Which one you got? Let's be clear, K2 is a poison. We will find you and we will stop you. And in October of 2015, Mayor Bill de Blasio came to Harlem's 25th precinct. He signed new laws. They were supposed to help wipe out K2. Weeks later, the DEA raided a K2 warehouse in the Bronx. But two and a half years later, and Harlem is seeing a K2 comeback. That's causing them to like be on the street like a zombie, so I've seen it. Just yesterday, the NYPD raided a suspected drug house in Brownsville, Brooklyn. They found 1,000 packets of K2 with bright colors and names like Scooby Snacks. Police say this is just the beginning. And the NYPD's chief of detectives said yesterday that they still have a lot more work to do. I spoke with one of the employees at the deli behind me. He insisted they do not sell this designer drug.